Hi, and welcome back to the Allen Bradley PLC Test Bench. Today we're testing the Control Logics 1756 IF16 input module. This module can be used for 16 single ended or 8 differential or any combination of that voltage or current inputs. These modules are used in multiple industries. We'll get set up here, we'll swing around, we'll show how, you, how it's wired up and how we confirm what you're actually putting into the module is what you're reading on the screen. Small discrepancies are to be expected in these modules regardless of what they are. So uh, we'll get set up and we're right back. And here we are, we're back. Here's our test setup. We have our chassis with our processor, our analog output module which is an OF8H heart module, set voltage uh, output. Here's our analog input module, the IF16. Channel 0 on our output module is tied to all of the input module commons because we're doing it single ended voltage input. As you can see down here on the meter, we are currently putting in 10, set for 10 volts and we're putting in 10.01 for our heart meter, heart analog output, change it to plus 5, and we're at 5.005, and we'll just do a negative voltage, minus 7, and we're at minus 7.0089. So it shows that our output module is quite accurate. Um, so the other wires here are tied to what we're using for a small load which is a plus minus 30 volt DC um, Simpson meter. It's standard, good old standard analog meter. Um, I say we're currently at minus 7 volts and there's plus 10. There's minus 10 and there's plus 5. So pretty straightforward simple setup and what we'll do next is uh, go back to our uh, setup, look at the screen and uh, show you the next step in the testing. Okay, first we'll go through our setup. Um, we put the module in, into the uh, tree and we've got it set for float, floating data, single ended, no alarm. We go to configuration, all 16 channels are configured the same way, plus or minus or plus 10 volt. Uh, scaling is plus 10 equals 10 high engineering, minus 10, minus 10 low engineering and real-time sampling I've set to 2000 milliseconds just to smooth out the uh, display for testing. Um, when you're running it you'd make, you'll have that set at whatever is suitable for your operation. On a calibration screen we'll look at it. Uh, this module was calibrated at the factory on May 15, 2008. There's our calibration data the range is always minus 10 to plus 10 volts and there's an entire procedure. Um, calibration offset in counts is 1916, 17, it's all pretty consistent. So there's our, our setup there. Uh, the analog output, I've done the same thing, set it to plus minus 10 volts. So our main rung that we use is our move statement. We're going to move our, the voltage we want because we're calibrated in uh, everything in the floating data. Currently we're setting, sitting at 10 and all I'm doing is moving channel 0 data into channel 0 data. Uh, just a simple way to you don't have to bring up the uh, controller tags all the time. So I change that to 5 it moves 5 volts and look at the meter it's 5.005 so 
try and zoom in a little bit more here because this is really what you're interested in, in seeing when you're testing your module is what is your input data doing so here is our let's say this is our voltage in and here's our 16 channels that are all tied together so we're running between 5 point, our input voltage is 5.004 to 5.006. Not a big fluctuation out of the card, so I'm, I'm quite happy with our output module being stable. Our inputs are all running between 4.998 and 5.00. two at the most. So this module is fairly accurate. You know, and like I say, we're doing a two second update so that everything's kind of smooth and we're seeing seeing our numbers and being able to make sense of them. If you drop your sampling down too fast, those numbers just bounce all over the place. So depending, analog stuff never moves fast. Um, you're going to get some fluctuations and that's pretty standard. So this module is is well within the uh, range it should be. Again, if we go minus 8, just as a pretty decent number to work with, we're putting minus 8.01 volts on our Fluke 123. We're reading between minus 7.999, 997, and 8.001. Again, that's very that's acceptable for this sort of module. Plus 10, plus 10. Again, 10.002, 9.997, 9.997, 8.001. You're not going to get much closer than that. These are good modules but they're not um, space shuttle quality by any stretch of the imagination and I don't think any uh, industry is going to have that. So from there you just do what I always do is I do multiple tests, record them, keep them in a sh on a sheet that goes with the module so that when the customer or the u end user gets the module they can see that this is, a cal this is the sort of accuracy they're going to get out of what they have. Um, that's all there is for testing these modules. They're pretty straightforward and simple, but you got to take a few minutes and just do them up. Now, I've got a dozen modules to do. It'll probably take me a couple hours by the time I do all the documentation and uh, save it all. Thanks a lot. Uh, subscribe anytime. Come on back anytime. Have a great day.